G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft on the Human Paladin, so I didn't, I hadn't done the quest, I don't know if I'd actually picked up the beacon back then. Um, there's actually a really easy way to find out whether you've done quests or not. If you go to Wowhead and look up your quest or the quest that you're interested in, uh, if you just sort of roll down a little bit in that uh, description area, it does give you a script slash script which you can run in the game and it will tell you whether you've done it or not, it will say true or false. In this instance, I had a false return, so I looked up uh, where I can get this quest done really quickly. And the suggestion was actually to come out here, just south of Zulfarak's entrance, and just kill these these trolls repeatedly. Now, it only took me like, I think three, I just grabbed a whole bunch of the group, killed them, and uh, it dropped, so there you go. So if you're finding it hard to, to get the quest done because you can't get the item just come out here and do as I did now I have to go fly back but I do have the quest find 00x17tn you have uncovered some sort of strange egg shaped device made from metal fiddling with one of its knobs springs the egg to life as it opens up into some sort of gnomish robotic contraption a voice from inside the robotic egg crackles alive. The name's Oglethorpe and my homing robot has gone missing. I will reward you for its recovery. Please take this beacon to the robot. Excellent. I now have you computed. I now have computed the coordinates to you. It crashed near the gaping chasm in Tarnaris. Okay, so we did go to the right place. We just need to have the beacon first. Now I'm just going to fly over here real quick. Because I'm wondering, I'm just thinking ahead here, how I'm going to get back to where, uh, well, go to where I need to get to fairly quickly. And I'm just wondering if I fly past Tick here, whether there's a portal here anymore. Hmm, oh, hang on, there is, there is. Where's it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go? Stormy winds. Okay, good. All right, we'll take that. I guess I'll go to Stormwind. From Stormwind, I can fly south. Go to Booty Bay, hand in all the quests. Take a ride back to Ratchet and start flying to Tarnassus. Bit of a bit of a long one. But it should get us there in the end. But first we must escort a chicken. You appear to have uncovered the wreckage of a robotic chicken. The voice from within the egg crackles to life again. Yes, excellent work. This is indeed my homing robot, though my senses indicate that it needs a jump start before it can fly back to Booty Bay for repairs. Go ahead and place the beacon inside the rover. The beacon will take care of the rest. You place the egg distress beacon inside the chicken homing robot. Hums and whirs are heard from inside the robot as it struggles to stand up. After the robot comes to life, Oglethorpe's voice is heard once more, but now from inside the robot. 00X is working at least, but it needs major repairs. It is much too heavy uh, for you to carry, but I think I have an idea. Are you up to watching over it some more? Sure. <laughs> The gnome's voice crackles once again from the robot. I need to move 00x17tn to an open, safe place so we can begin a lengthy takeoff procedure. It has built-in cloaking, but I need time on my end to make it operational again. I need you to escort the robot from its current location to, well, let's say near the caverns of time. That should be a perfect place and long enough to get this thing online. Escort it safely and then come back to me in Booty Bay. Oglethorpe Obnoticus out. <laughs> All right, let's follow the chicken. <laughs> let's once again escort that chicken. Big old chicken, look at that thing. It's like sparking and everything. And why does it have to be a chicken? Why wouldn't it be like a mouse or something? Something small, a little rat, you know? Well, actually, you know what? While we're doing this, let's uh, quickly switch back to Retribution. 
because I was only I was only in uh, protection because I wanted to get into those dungeons quickly. But now that's no longer needed. Throw a marker on this guy. Basking Cobra. Old school model, I think. I don't think anything's changed. This is a classic model. So is the Basilisk, I think. Classic model. Which is strange because. Maybe they're not. I thought that they had basilisks in... They do have them in Burning Crusade, but I guess the model wasn't updated at that point. The hyenas are new. I wonder at what point they're going to start looking at him and go, oh, it's time for another <laughs> update. I think the world in general needs an update. A progression of time. I think it's about time. The chicken's bounding. Sensors detect spatial anomaly. Come on, buddy, we're almost there. Let's go. Flight systems online. Clock. Engineering. Oh, wow. That was any. That was nowhere near what we used to have to do. I mean, before, that was nothing. That's like a third of what we had to do. Not even a third. So before we had to go from here, all the way over here somewhere, and then around there. <laughs> like we had to really go far. Oculus the Corrupted. Make your tie, mortals. You will never defeat the Oculus. Just did. And an infinite whelping as well. Just did it. I remember in Classic when you looked down here it was pretty scary because it was like a massive... There was a massive drain or it was a dragon that's just like red, you know? Skull and everything. You don't want to mess with it. But I'm wondering if you could, like, and if it would have dropped anything of worth. If you like approached it with a raid or something. Or whether it would have just went to town, destroyed you all within seconds. This is the site of the caverns of time. The steward of time. I've got no interest in that. I've done my zone story quest. Take me back to Stormwind. We'll go to the portal room. Actually, I have a look around here and see what what's here. Warlords of Dranor. Dragonflight. I can't go here. Can I? <laughs> Maybe I can. I guess I can. Boralus. The Shadowlands. Legion. Oh, I've never been here before. This actually, last time I was here was locked up. What? Portal to Balameth. Uh, I guess they're getting ready. 
They're provisioning for more portals. For future expansions. What about on this side? No, nope, but they have got the space for it now. Interesting, I wonder when this was active. Activated maybe the latest patch. I guess the same thing could be done in the Horde side as well. Dalaran, Exodar. Oh, actually, that's where we're going. Okay, so we've got a portal straight there. Fantastic. Okay, well, I don't need to go any further. Um, although, I do want to get a Booty Bay to hand this quest in. To hand in all three of them, actually. But this works. Uh, maybe we can just finish off a booty bay. Alright, fine, let's just do this. I mean, the portal's right here. The exit R, and we have got a way of going back to Stormwind. So for all you Draenei out there, Draenei. This is your city. No flying around here. Too familiar with this place as I have don't really frequent this part of the world that often. Frequent it at all. It's very rare that I come down here. I think there was some quests in one of the expansions where I did have to spend a little bit of time here. But this does take us to... I've got to move out a little bit further. A little closer to our destination. Okay, so where we want to go is actually north. And that begins the Blood Mist Isle chapter. And I can't actually fly here either. Because this is still instanced back in the Burning Crusade. Back in the BC days. So I probably should follow that road. All the way up and out. All these level 57s. Which a lot of you will probably be able to... Oh, can play now. In Classic, of course, because... This area was released in Burning Crusade times. I was going to say Cataclysm, but that's not right at all. The Drenae came out when the Blood Elves were released. And there was a sudden huge swing to people joining the Horde side. <laughs> when the Blood Elves were released. Ah, look at that place. All red-like. The Blood Watch. Interesting that this is part of the, uh... Yeah, it does have a story. His own story. I would have thought this would have just been attached to the Draenei and that's it. But they do have a fair big area over here. All of that. And all of this. Let's see, where do we get started? The Naru have not forgotten us. I've made a wonderful discovery, Baladin. On the uncorrupted part of the island grows a remarkable fruit. 
called the Sand Pear. They're found near the bottoms of the trees. I've been preparing pies from them, but if I'm not careful, the Helek will start to wander over and steal my fruit. I've taken to gathering enough of sh to share with the animals, and my stores are gone, and the craving for pie has returned. Would you be willing to help gather the fruit I need for another batch of pies? I promise I'll share. You will. You promise? I hope so. Arcanon Poros. The quest here is to find this dude's shirt. And why he has an eye patch with a smiley face on it. Alien predators. One thing we've learned in our travels is that extreme care must be taken when introducing wildlife from one world to another. When the Exodar crashed, it was carrying species, specimens of various outland species, including an insectoid predator called the Ravager. Some of the specimens were lost, but many others survived and took to the wild. If we don't keep them in check, they will upset the natural balance here on the islands. You'll find these Ravagers to the west of Kessel's Crossing near the coast. Remember the lessons of the past. May the light embrace you. Kessel Elec Lord, Lord of the Elex, the Kessel Run. You're just in time, Artraxius. Blood elf activity in the area has doubled in the past week. Our agents have informed us that the blood elves that call themselves Sunhawks plan to launch an offensive soon upon Azure Mist. I need you to get a warning out to our allies and compatriots. Warn High Chief Stilpine at Stilpine Hold. Exarch Menelius at Azure Watch and Admiral Odysseus at Odysseus Landing. Time is of the essence. I am lending you my elec. Be sure to keep it out of water. <laughs> what? Say what? Say what? You want me to go? I gotta. Wait. Go. Go back there. On this slow mount, I don't need this mount, do I? I don't need that. I gotta make the castle run. So we're gonna go here. Actually, was there a fly path over there? There's a fly path further up. Alright, let's kick this thing into high gear. 380 yards away. Your was watch. I need to go this way. I can go around. We go off road. Oh no! Oh no! Maybe not. <laughs> it's a little bit steep. Oh, my buddy, my sin runner. Oh, Blanche, he hasn't figured out how to fly here yet. Oh, it seems like it would be doable. a downside to being in retribution is that all the little uh, enemies and so on can knock you off don't get that when you're in protection mode but nevertheless we are here still pine hold In broken comments, still pine be ready. Many thanks, okay? Travel down south, there is a fly path here. Ask the defenders, we've got 12 minutes. I didn't actually do a Drena uh, starting series way back when on this channel. Uh, and you can find it. So it mostly covers all this area, if you would like to see those quests. I did start doing these quests, but I think I had a problem with one of my videos and it kind of ruined me. 
Like, I, I don't know how far I was, but I remember I was doing quests around here. And then something stuffed up and, yeah, it just really threw me off because it was meant to be a starter series. I meant to do all those quests. So hopefully this makes up for it. In fact, I might try and find that final video that I did on it and uh, link it to this whenever it seems to connect. Good fortune. Exarch Manalius has been warned. Good health, long life. Manalius. In order to save a little bit of time. Welcome, browse at your leisure. I don't know how much time for saving here, but I'll just buy him there. That way, if I go south, then I can come back and save on those 500 and something yards that I'm about to go on. But it is a lot quicker because I know, I remember doing this quest and I was on that elephant and I'm pretty sure it took me ages. It took me a long time. I don't have this speed boost. I don't have a mount at 100% here. Or well, back then rather, I mean. Played it as a mage. And certainly did all these quests here. The Admiral. King's honor, friend. Everyone's been warned. Honor. Ready to turn it. Alright, we're gonna go back now. But yeah, do check out the series if you'd like to see all these quests, because I did I did go through all of them. All of them until about midway through that uh, island up north that we're going through. Uh, you start off around here, I believe. lovely music out here and uh, Burning Crusade in general I always like Burning Crusade's music it's always an interesting um, fact that the guy who did the music for Diablo had been making music for Diablo 3 and then it got repurposed and used in like Burning Crusade and it's funny because I do remember that first time I played Burning Crusade and I was out there going through some open world dungeon um, and I was walking down there so I was thinking to myself man this place sounds exactly like you know uh, like you're traveling through some area in Diablo <laughs> and uh, yeah and then I found all that out so it was pretty cool it's very otherworldly I wonder what that guy's doing. Diablo 1 and 2 guy. Ah, oh, his name escapes me at the moment. Probably because I haven't said it in such a long time, but... Yeah, he's good. Good good music there. He did music for Torchlight as well. They left him when he, he went to do Torchlight. So he does the Torchlight 1 and... Pretty sure 2 as well. And when you listen to those soundtracks, you can tell. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, there it is. This is what we could have had in Diablo. I don't think in Diablo 4 they did pretty good. I, I feel like Diablo 3 just was a little bit too different. Still got to play Diablo 2, actually. I've got Diablo 2 resurrected, I think it was. I played it for about two hours and I haven't played it since. Probably it'll be something that I'll eventually play on my uh, Twitch channel, Watch Dan Game. I play variety games over there. It's got a YouTube channel as well, Watch Dan Game. Check it out. You might be interested in some of the games that I've played in the past. Warm wishes to The Naru have not forgotten us. Well done, Atraxius. This was a difficult test of your abilities, but you have passed with flying colors. To become a soldier of the Hand of Argus, you must pass many such tests. Be kind to those days. A declaration of power? Have you seen the Serpent Men? The ones that call themselves Naga, Kessel Spitz? They dared make an advance upon this camp under cover of darkness only three nights ago. Can you believe the audacity of those primitive beasts? 
I need you to deliver a message to their leadership, Adraxius. To the northeast, his Wrathscale lair, home of Lord Ziz. Find him, slay him, where he stands, and drive this banner through his corpse. Let them know, Fia, whenever they should see our standard. Remember the lessons. My inventory. What? How's my invent? What? I could. Well. Oh, okay, that's right. Because one of our bags for for reagents, and my other bag is for um, enchanting items. So between the two, I can see why I've finally run out of bloody space here. Disenchant some stuff. Get rid of my hedge cutter. Keep my shield though. Plants are thorny, which attracts nearby enemies. Would that really would that really work? I'm Good surprised fortune. I was able to use it. Blessings upon your family. I didn't think I'd actually be able to use it out here. May your days be long and your hardships few. Blessings upon you. Interesting. I wonder if it just acts like a target dummy, uh, like a dummy. The engineer's dummy and just like taunts everything. Miss Hatchling. Also got sand pairs. Ah, oh, there you are. Oh, look at the river. The river runs red. Just need to get pairs now. A bright, juicy fruit flavored by the Alec. Favored? Favored by the Alec. Not flavored. <laughs> or maybe they do, who knows? While I'm running around, they probably flavor it a little bit. Some of these hatchlings belong from another world. Uh, Burning Crusader did level up a, a Paladin through the Burning Crusade here on the channel as well. So if you'd like to see our 1 to, not 1 to 70, sorry, 60 to 68. Got him high enough so he could go to Wrath of the Lich King. But we crossed through a fair few zones, so that is also on the channel if you'd like to see that. Certainly see a lot of Hellfire Peninsula. Hellfire Peninsula. A little bit of the old uh, mushroom, mushroom kingdom, as well. Four out of ten. Oh, 
Not exactly plentiful, are they? Perhaps the hatchlings like to feast on them as well. When they can't get pallet and meat. Brings us to five or ten. Declaration of power is really far up. But I guess we could go this way. Sand pairs over here. Past all these bears. Past all the gummy bears. one. So after this we go to Dark Shore after we're done with this area. And then to Ashen Vale. Let's go around the back of this one. See a boat ruined wreckage in the background there. Like bones of a dragon. Some spore here. Is I got a banner for you. Got a banner with your name on it. Big old banner, okay. Send a warning. Three more sand pairs. I feel like my aggro range is huge. do it. Alright, the mad dash back home. The triumvirates first, second, third. Open your heart to the light. The sand bears are getting harder to find, and of course, that means less pie and fewer treats for the Elek here. Were you able to gather all the fruit I'll need? Be kind to those less fortunate. Did you have a difficult time finding enough? It's been taking me longer and with each trip. 
Soon I'll have to stop altogether since I won't be able to spare the time. Thank you for gathering the pears for me, Artraxius. It gives me a chance to make a last buy or two before the season's out. Safe journey. Helic Rider's Plate. I am the Alec Rider. Have not forgotten us. Well done, Artraxius. The Ravager population will bear watching for some time to come, but we've made a good start. A bastard sword, a two stone sledgehammer. Blessings upon your family. Blessings. The Legion's end draws near. I am sorry that you had to do that, Atraxius. Heavy-handed violence is not the Draenei way, but sometimes it is the only way. This is one of the life's truths that many do not understand until it is too late. So it was for our people. When we were slaughtered at the hands of the Orcs, becoming a Hand of Argus is a process of rebirth, and with rebirth comes pain. Do not lose faith. 